Living in Germany. What issues matter most to the people living in Germany? What are living conditions like for individuals and their families? What are people's hopes and fears? What personal and professional experiences have shaped their lives? And how is German society evolving? The socio-economic panel study provides answers to all these questions. We collected the first wave of the SOEP in 84. But there was a long time of work behind us. In 71, we started the cooperation between sociologists and economists. In 79, we started the preparation of the panel. And in 82, finally, at the third application, we got the final decision. The decision was very difficult. Uh, we had to learn, we on our side, but also the evaluators. But our concept was new and revolutionary. We wanted to have longitudinal data, but there was no experience with these data. We wanted to combine economic and social data. And we wanted to include foreigners, which was quite new in Germany at this time. And we wanted a lot of money. But we were modest on the other side. We had only a perspective of five years. Now it has been 30 years. Today, the socio-economic panel study surveys over 21,000 adults and their family members every year. In some of these families, there are already three generations participating. And more than 2,000 of our respondents have been part of the study for over 30 years. This makes the socio-economic panel the oldest and largest longitudinal study in the world, a source of tremendously valuable information for researchers. <laughs> My name is Martin Groh. I'm responsible for all aspects of survey methodology. My name is Ingrid Tucci. I do research on immigrants in Germany. I'm Katharina Spies and my research focuses on early education and family policy. My name is Peter Krause. I'm in charge of data administration. My research focuses on living conditions, inequality and quality of life. I'm Simone Bartsch and I compile the questionnaire that over 21,000 people throughout Germany answer every year. I'm Michaela Engelmann and I'm the voice behind the SOEP hotline. The most frequent question is, when is the new data available? My name is Marco Gieselmann. Uh, my job at the SOEP is to direct SOEP campus. In this program we offer workshops in how to use the data. I'm Elke Holz and I analyze questions surrounding women and men's labor market participation. I took over as director of the SOEP study shortly before the Berlin Wall came down. Of course, the fall of the wall surprised us as much as everyone else. But we did not let this historic moment slip away. We reacted immediately and four months before German unification we had already surveyed a new SOEP sample of over 2,000 households with almost 4,500 respondents living in them in what was then still the GDR. <music> We 
are often talking about the SOAP family, and we are a big family. More than 500 researchers worldwide from Berlin to Australia are using the data. We have the joint interest of analyzing social change in Germany from the perspective of the families living in Germany, either from a psychological, political, sociological or economic perspective. Parental wealth affects children's success. East German couples have children, West German couples think about it. Satisfaction with life declines five years prior to death. Unfair pay leads to adverse health effects. Artists are poor but happy. We want to double the number of households in our survey to nearly 20,000. Our focus now is to motivate more immigrants and their families to participate in our survey. Beside this, we will incorporate new survey methodologies for further improvement of our data.